What is going on, All Terrain Nation? Today on the show, well, it's Raptor Day. And as you can see, there is a big row of raptors here. We're gonna go have some fun. We're in Johnson Valley, and we're gonna have some fun with these big beasts, and I'm pretty excited by it, because Raptor R, that's right. Not just Raptor, Raptor R. And we've seen the big increase in horsepower, and well, that's kind of exciting, right? But we got we got all kinds of Raptors here. We got the old heritage here, and we're gonna do a, a spill about it. We're gonna go learn about it, and then we're gonna go from there. We're here today at uh, Driven Experience facility. This is the facility we use as far as performance well, with our partners here uh, to do our Johnson Valley tuning. So we tune here, and we tune in Borrego Springs. So today is kind of your immersion event. You're gonna be uh, newbies as for performance development engineers today. So what are Raptors, right? So we go through this explanation with all of our new people, right? So we have three Raptors now. So we have a Bronco Raptor, which we launched out of the facility two years ago. So that's an Ultra 4 inspired. It goes fast in the desert, like a desert runner. And it also rock climbs, right? Then we just launched the Ranger Raptor about two months ago. So that's a nimble, really fun to drive vehicle. Dirt track is what you think about with that superpower. We're here today to talk about the latest version, the best ever F-150 Raptor R. So we're gonna talk about that in detail, but just to reflect back, right? Every Raptor is run Baja. We completed Baja and the Bronco and the F-150 Raptor with dual valve just recently. And of course we did the Ranger Raptor at Fink and also on the Baja course. So there's a lot of heritage in F-150. We've brought the Gen 1 and Gen 2 out there. So it's about 15 years now that we've been doing a trophy truck from the factory. Uh, and we brought the two Baja trucks that was both Gen 2 and Gen 3 out there. So with all that heritage, we always know, what, you know what's most important. Well, we want to go faster in the desert, have more control for the driver, more comfort. We want to put more tech into it. We want to have a great appearance to do that. So as we laid out the 24 model year, we really were focused on the front of the vehicle, right? That front suspension, the front bumper, uh, we have a tremendous uh, multi-link in the rear, fully capable. So the focus in the front, we work with NTN, our supplier for the half shafts, and we've got a new inner CV, so it doesn't sound like a really exotic thing, but getting two and a half more degrees out of that inner CV gives us more travel, right? So we've increased the travel by changing the knuckle and the tie rod with that CVJ joint on the half shaft and that gives us a half inch of travel to take what is a 35 inch truck from 14 to 14 and a half to go with its 15 inches in the rear. And when you buy a 37, it's an inch less. So it goes to 13 and a half in the front, 14 in the rear. So with all that extra travel, we really wanted to focus on the shock system that uses that travel. So we again work with our partner Fox in this case, who we've been working with for about 15 years and we wanted to really do rebound control. So we call it dual live valve, right? So jounce is all about how fast and how big. Rebound is about control, right? Can you feel what's going on, right? If you put a lot of control and rebound, you have good steering position, but you give up comfort, right? So making that tied into our electrical module that knows all knowing of where you're driving, we can get the rebound that gives you comfort or the rebound that gives you that <coughs> control you're looking for. And we do that hundreds of times a second. So it's done again with our proprietary, uh, all engineered in the desert control module, right? Not an exotic part either, but all the algorithms that are developed for jump mode, for how pitch control is used, you know, how you're gonna do moguls or how the vehicle knows you're on moguls and then sets it up so it controls that. It doesn't punish you, but still gives you that feel that I know where I'm gonna be on that vehicle. So that is all really engineered by Ford Performance, both in the conceiving how to do those algorithms and actually coding all those algorithms. So with that, you can think about what you get out of rebound control. So we can actually, when you go into roll, we can put one shock into jounce control and the other one into rebound control now, since we control both directions. So that gives us a huge amplification of two times because we'll have two shots working in rebound control, two in jounce control. Same for pitch. And then, you know, when we actually use those in mobile control, it gives you that comfort and speed that you can gain in a vehicle that has 720 horsepower, right? It's always got more power than you may have line of sight of what's going on. 
and your ability to tune that car where you want to position it is really about the damping control that's going on. Since we had such great damping control, we actually spent time on the steering system. So we sped up the steering gear ratio and we stiffened the eye shaft. So what's an eye shaft? As you turn the steering wheel, it goes through an eye shaft all the way down to the steering gear. So stiffening that by 60% gives you more steering control, more precision, and that precision goes into the combination of a dual valve that you have that really good roll control that you can position that vehicle. If you're driving on a mountain road, you can put that big old mirror of an F-150 Raptor up against the wall of the cliff. So again, that's really where we focus on chassis. So again, it's the best chassis we put together on a Raptor. And then if you look at the vehicle behind you, you get an idea how we change the appearance of it. So we pick up the headlamps off the F-150. And then with that, we've done a wrap around grill that still gives us that width. Uh, again, it's an all painted grill. We have a new power weave uh, texture on the Ford logo. Um, so we've taken that to the back of the vehicle. We've had the opportunity to Ford Performance design a modular bumper system. So you saw this on the Tremor earlier today. The center section is common between the Raptor and the Tremor. And then we've taken advantage on the Tremor to make it capable of an aftermarket hitch system for a de dealer installed. And then for us, we gave us an opportunity to get a really aggressive look to the vehicle. We still have a rigid lamp. One of them is a fog lamp. The other one's tied to the overhead. Uh, Multi-bank switches. Uh, but it gives a really an aggressive appearance. So you can see it coming. It's new, it's different, uh, it's tough looking. And then for tech in the interior, uh, we've gone to a standard heads up display. Again, it has a Baja mode with that minimalistic approach to information of only what I need when I drive fast. And we brought it across on a new digital cluster system, uh, all new software for 24. We brought performance view over from the Bronco Raptor, which is a view that just, again, minimalistic, shows you what you need to know when you're driving highway speeds in the desert. You don't need extraneous information. What a bonus for us on this model year, uh, we did a new hood enter, and that gives us a, a lot of airflow into the induction system. Since this engine behind us is always in need of more air, we give it more air, we give it more power, and that's how we've been able to increase the horsepower by 20. Horsepower to 720 horsepower. Again, uh, one of the most powerful off-road trucks ever created by Ford Performance. So again, the best Raptor you'll drive, uh, the best one that's out there, and with that,